Since the beginning of time, man had to hunt. It was either eat or be eaten, kill or be killed. For early man, it was a no-brainer. They wanted to kill and eat instead of be the meal for whatever animal they were trying to hunt. It started with sticks, then they sharpened those sticks, then they made spears with rocks tied to the end of those sticks, and then eventually we came to the bow. The bow invention changed the way hunters would hunt animals for the rest of time. What's up everybody? It's Jake Lampkin. I'm here today to teach you how to shoot a bow and arrow, more specifically a compound bow, not the recurve that the Indians used to use way back when. So getting into it, we're going to start with the arrow. Back in the old days, it would be a stick. Today, it's now made of carbon fiber. Uh, the clip on the end is called the knock. That is what actually clips onto the bow string, and that's what it is able to let it go and shoot. The old days, these used to be feathers. It's called fletchings. Now it's this kind of flimsy, kind of plastic rubber substance, and that's going to help keep a straight flight for the arrow. Outside of the arrow, we have the release. This release uses a little bar trigger right here. I'm gonna hit that with my index and it opens and allows the string to go forward and I'm able to actually shoot. Um, this is an index release because I use it to hit my index with that. Then we have the bow itself. So we have the D-loop on the end. This D-loop right here is where the arrow is going to clip in. Like so, it clips right there. And the release will actually clip on right there as well. And that's how I'm able to draw the bow. Then I also have my peep sight. So my peep sight is right here. And that is where I look through to see my sights at the end. So these are called pin sights because they have actual pins in them. Each one is set to a different yardage, so then I know where to aim and shoot. Then I also have my arrow rest, so that clips up, and that's what holds my arrow in place to where I'm accurate and able to shoot. So now we're actually going to get into shooting the bow. You want to connect your release to your D-loop right here on the end, right, and then you're gonna set up to draw, okay? So have a good firm base in your legs and you're gonna push, you're gonna have your elbow, front elbow with a slight bend in it. You don't want it locked out all the way because then the string will actually hit you and it hurts very badly, trust me. So when I go to draw the bow back, I'm going to want to pull straight back, okay? You don't want to pull down with the bow up and kick your hips out that's really dangerous if something goes wrong that arrow's flying who knows how far and i don't want my elbow coming sh way high coming down that puts a lot of strain on your shoulder so you want to just connect up slight bend good base slight bend in that front arm i want to draw straight back and anchor okay so you want i'm gonna have a couple anchor points okay so my hand is going to rest slightly gently on my jaw right here and when i anchor in i want my nose the very end of my nose to touch that end of the string right on the end of the string and i'm looking down into my peep sight at my sights i want to take my index finger when i'm ready to shoot and my pen settles where i want to shoot i'm gently going to pull that trigger and let the bow fall so you want to actually try to watch the arrow hit through the bow and not jerk to see the arrow or jerk the other way to see the arrow because that's going to cause your arrow to actually not hit where you want. That right there is the result of good form. So today, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. The big things to take away from the video is the technique so a good base in your legs good anchor point in the jaw good anchor point on the nose watching that arrow hit through the bow and not jerking and that will give you good ethical shots and great groups in the arrows 
Thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed.